I run Snow Deer, and I want to show you a quick little guide on how you can farm crazy gear that is way beyond what you could normally find. So basically, by farming a certain rare here, level 35, you actually get items that are beyond the level cap, like this weapon here, level 26, and also this weapon here. And it spawns here in between 2 to 10 minutes. But you can do some pretty nasty things in terms of maybe spawn more often, like jumping shards. But this is by far the best way to farm gear. Through these boots here, for instance, plus two ranks of shadow step, plus two ranks of stash. The stats are way higher than anything else. Also, this bow here, for instance, right? Plus 20 all stats and plus 38 dexterity. This is like three times higher than anything else you would find in a normal dungeon. Let's say you were doing a dungeon over here, like a black asylum. This would drop maybe a bow with plus 10 main stat or plus eight all stats. This is plus 20 and plus 38. This is by far the best way to farm in crazy gear. So basically what I've been doing all day is of course I've had my group chat, I've had my clan. And basically once we got a spawn, we would just type us up and then everyone would type plus in the chat. And the guy with the boss would of course invite three people. You join over and you kill it. Now if you're doing a solo, it's also pretty fun. You can just teleport over and over. So what I do is I just stand here and I teleport to a waypoint. And then once I'm back in town, I use my portal to go back. Basically, by doing this, you're able to shard over and join a new zone, but potentially the boss might be up again. And I found this to be quite a bit faster than just waiting there to for the respawn. And especially when you have four people just going back and forth with this portal tactic, it spawns a lot faster. And you get multiple kills of this. I think with this tactic, we're getting a kill every two or three minutes, actually. So it's definitely highly, highly recommended. And as you can see, I just teleported now, and it's actually up on this realm here. So basically, I just keep teleporting to Nevesk. I click the town portal back and then sometimes you will just join a shard when he's actually still up so all you just is kill the guy and he spawns loot you can not die here but you actually spawn very close by so it doesn't matter now he'll always drop the maze of blazing fur which is basically just terrible does nothing for you and he might also drop another item this can be anything from a blue terrible item to legendaries we got this one this time, where it seems to be very very strong we got a rare sword with damage over time, core skill, ultimate skill as you can see, it actually requires level 27. Now, we can do some really good things with this though. Even though there's a little crown on this, I can actually still wear this by a bit of clever use of uh, aspects. So what we do is we go to the main hub. So what we do now is we take it over to the Arc Cultist and do some really cool stuff with this. So first of all, you of course want to re-roll it. Basically, they are cheaper when you are enchanting, when they are rare and not legendary. So you put it in and you can of course change something. Let's say... Uh, I'm not really damaging over time, so we can of course enchant this and change this over to something else. We accept this. 23 dexterity. Uh, yes, please. Replace affix. We now have this weapon here with 23 dex. We can of course keep rerolling it if you want to. Just be aware it costs more and more every time. So let's just say we're happy with this. We have a weapon here, 23 dex, core skill and ultimate skill. Pretty nice. 293 damage per second. What we do now is we take a affix. Let's say we have this weapon here, skilled up to 33% increased damage based on the resource. So I go in and I do extract aspect. I want this aspect here, but not this weapon. This weapon is very low eye level, doesn't have high damage at all. So put it in and I extract this aspect here. Extract it. It is now in my inventory and I can now put this on my new weapon. So put our weapon in. We put our aspect in and we now do this as you can see it now follows the little requirement of the aspect and not the item so this we now have the weapon still same stats still same damage but now requires little 15 and you can of course do this with anything else if you get an aspect that requires little 12 level 4 even you can still put this on there's an extremely good way to get really, really good items, even at low level characters. Let's say next week you make a druid or you make a necromancer, you can use a level 25 weapon all the way from level 5 if you really want to and just blast through the entire campaign with no issues. And of course, to make it even stronger, we can now also go and add a little bit of a gem over here. Go gem, we want to add a socket, put a weapon in, and we just upgrade it and it costs a little bit of a scattered prism and some money. Douche. There's now also a socket, and we can put, I don't know, this on. Why not? We now have that. We now made this weapon, and it's crazy, crazy powerful. I would highly recommend you definitely go and do this if you have everything unlocked. If you just after gear, this is by far the best way to do it. Now, it might not be the most interesting, of course, but for any loot goblins like myself, 
this is by far the easiest way to get insane gear. The items are way higher than anything else you might find. Also this bow here, I'm gonna of course use that as well. Do the same thing that just showed before. So of course we go in, we enchant it. Let's say what could be fun here. Uh, damage over time, I don't really have that. Let's enchant it. Yep. We get core 16 core skill damage. That is crazy. That is a crazy ribbon. This ribbon might be the best in the entire game right now. I don't know. At least for a rogue with uh, melee weapons, having this kind of core just stat stick is crazy powerful. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little guide. Good luck on the drops, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, homies.